This is Gary Butterfield. This is Cole Ross. And this is Monster in My Podcast. And this is The Lamasu. There's a monster in my podcast. And this guy is cranky. Yeah, this guy, he really, uh, he's he's holding in a fart because he's not sure if it's bringing in company. Yeah, yeah, this guy is. Uh, and his wings don't look like they're coming from the same place on both his shoulders. <laughs> yeah, no, it definitely uh, is two wings come from the same shoulder. Um yeah, is what's, is what's happening here. Uh, so we should really get this get, get get this out of the way. This is the weird uh, die staff counterpart to the Lamia a little bit. This is another mm-hmm. one of our uh, celestial always lawful good uh, just kind of paragons. However, it is a lion with a human face, uh, but also it has wings. <laughs> and it's a huge human face. Yeah, it is gigantic. Yeah, and he's got uh, this like fur on the sides of his his face. He looks a little bit like um, he's got a mane. Well, like I mean, if you kind of the the way that it, it's on his cheeks, it's like a Neil Young kind of sideburn. Thing. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, no, like definitely. Uh, just he he never learned that you don't want your because uh, you know it happens to us. Your facial yeah. hair will encroach on your uh, let's say lower eyelid. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Just keeps spreading until it eventually gets to, you know, literally under your eyes and you look like you're wearing Magneto's helmet, but out of hair, <laughs> yep. you know? Yeah. It's uh it's, it, it's hell. Um, but yeah, definitely. And also, uh, that is incredibly long hair because the hairs that are coming off from right underneath his eyes, like on his cheekbones going down and joining the main part of the beard. So this guy, he's, he's under fully, his chest. Yeah. This goes all the way down un- into like down to his belly button, essentially. Yeah. That, that's, that's insane. No, that's too else. much. That's too much. Yeah, this is too much pubic hair. For <laughs> um, so th- these guys, one of the things uh, I like these guys more than the Kieran and stuff because they there's more detail about them. Mm-hmm. Um, once a month, they get together to talk about how <laughs> the fight on the war on evil goes. <laughs> yep. They have like a, they have elk meetings. Yeah. At the white moon. <laughs> like which even sounds like a bar. Like they, they just go there. They have like their, you know, sure, you know, all you can eat fish fry. <laughs> like how goes the fight on evil friend oh, well not so good it's no. still dungeons and dragons yeah like if we succeeded everything would suck and no books would sell yeah uh, so we'd have to th- you know throw ourselves off a mountain oh wait we fly fuck <laughs> you know? the end the end of that terrible story um such a gathering of lawful good causes the entire temple where they meet to glow in a pure light until until it breaks up at dawn there is yep. perhaps no safer place in all the world that night i i would feel very uncomfortable with that place yeah me too i feel like they're judging like, me yeah totally like and and also like how does how's your fight against evil doing it's like <laughs> i i gave, i gave 20 bucks to planned parenthood like I, what would i do like i just you know, I know the, like, oh, you know, I didn't go kill like a seven, you know, seven bandits and I didn't, uh, you know, arrest uh, a lich. No, you know, I'm sorry. I, I didn't, uh, you know, find the tax loop and the, the evil barons, <laughs> you know, things like I, I didn't do any of that stuff, guys. No, like I'm not, I'm not glowing. I'm just I'm, hanging out. I'm not operating on the same plane as you. So it's unfair of you to judge me against your own standards. And also I'd like to go to sleep. Would you stop glowing? <laughs> I thought that I thought that on Priceline the rate was too good for the White Moon. Um, I feel like okay, well you know I'm just stopping by. Uh, this sucks. I'm definitely leaving a three star. This is worse than that time I was in a hotel room between two ice machines. <laughs> <laughs> you know? The uh, so they and they have this like you know uh, good aligned creatures are always well received. Neutrals are watched carefully. Don't just call them neutrals. Yeah, like, you don't know, no. just call people illegals. No. Like you don't like, call who, people neutrals. Who, who are you, Zap Brannigan? Come on. Yeah, neutrals. <laughs> neutrals. Um, and then evil beings are firmly asked to leave. <laughs> I like, come like on, that. Yeah. they're given written <laughs> notice. Yeah. Okay, guys. If you get one more red card violation, you'll have to leave the white moon. <laughs> yep. You're gonna have to wear this bib that has a frowny face on it, and everybody's <laughs> yep. gonna know that you are a bad Billy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like Billy Bob Thornton. Yeah, that fuck. Um, yeah, and the, so they fight Lamia's and Manticores. Fine. Uh, and some people confuse them. <laughs> oh, no, uh, never. No. Yeah, no, no, that, no. That, 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 is uh, a, that is a sensitive issue. Yeah, and you might you might get like a pink slip. You might you might get you might get a double minus check mark if you do that. <laughs> God, this is the the worst preschool teachers ever. They can they can use a. Uh, is that at will? Hold on, hold up. Oh, oh no, hold as up. well. 50% of greater ones can use holy word. I was like, 
can you use holy word at will? And I'm like, oh shit. Like, I think holy word is pretty intense. Yeah. Um, yeah, no. I but... wish that they had, like, you know, would groom themselves so they didn't look like an IT guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he definitely looks like somebody who's going for the Logan look but went a bit too far. Yeah. <laughs> just like, uh, you know, uh, just because you own that, that, that set of claws does not make you Logan. Like, yeah. Can, can, consider consider how good Alan Covert looked at the end of Happy Gilmore after he was cleaned up. Yeah, he, he was he was he was the the caddy, the almost caddy. Oh, yeah. yeah, gotcha. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. You're not as tuned into the Sandler verse as I am. I, you know what? I, I'm very much not. I feel like the Sandler verse is one of my least favorite campaign settings, and oh. I will not buy that source book, my friend. Brought to you by our backers at Patreon.com/slash DuckFeedTV.